All right, Lauren, first, uh, welcome back. How did you, uh, you feel you went out there tonight? Yeah, no, it was a good game, an entertaining game to be a part of, and a good third team of referees, so I enjoyed it. You mentioned the third save, a very special third yeah. save tonight. History made at Lightwood Park. Yeah. What's it like being part of the first, I guess, all-female officiating crew on an NPL game? Um, great. Um, I think everyone who was on the, crew, the game today, the crew really deserved to be there, and Great, always great to have a great team and great to see women progressing in football in general. It was a good game and I thought that the players, it was a great game to be a part of. Everyone was in good spirits, very friendly game, so I enjoyed it. Do you think, I suppose, this uh, can inspire perhaps the next generation a bit? They can look up and go, you know what, gender's not going to be a barrier when it comes to refereeing? Yeah, hopefully. And I do remember back um, when I first started refereeing, we had some female referees come down and referee like a subject cup final, I believe, so that was bit of inspiration for me. So. What's the, uh, the most important part of refereeing to your mind? Um, for me it's to enjoy refereeing but I think what players and coaches look for in a referee is, is different but I think someone who um, cares about the game and wants to see a good game happen is what I think players and coaches want but I'd be happy to How's your time going up on the uh, the W League panel? Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, obviously, my third season last season as an assistant referee on the W League, so I was getting plenty of games, living in Canberra, a lot of Canberra games and a couple of Sydney games, and really enjoying it. I really love the W League. It's a great league to be part of. And look forward to next season. What kind of a feeling do you get doing such high profile, I guess, leagues and competition matches? What's that like as as a referee? Oh, uh, it's a bit of a buzz, but I think. Um, Lots of different leagues and lots of different levels. They all have their their buzz and their you know people definitely get into it all across just from your social level to your W league. It's very enjoyable. So how far are you looking to go with the refereeing? Are you looking to keep going higher and higher with your own career? Is, is... Uh, yeah, definitely. I think I really enjoy being part of the W league and I'll keep that up. Um, in terms of my eventual goals, that's something I'm always thinking about and working on and. I don't really have a set goal, but it's definitely something that I will continue to work towards and be involved in for a long time. I do really enjoy refereeing, so hopefully there's opportunities to continue doing it. What's the, the biggest difference, I guess, is the standard scale? Is it, is it speed? Is it pressure? What's the, the thing that you've noticed? Um, speed is something that I personally uh, find is quite a big difference between the leagues, and that, from an assistant referee's view, makes a big difference in those tight offside calls. Um, pressure, another very true, like, um, the ability to watch a game back, obviously now we have a lot of live view and you can do that, but as you go up there's a lot more camera angles and you can find out a lot more, you can get to really the bottom of what happened and figure out exactly how to make that right decision, whilst when you're uh, at not such a high level it's a lot more about making sure there's control, so you want to aim for the best decision but you can't always evaluate and say, I can look at this camera angle and say I did this, this and this and this is what I'll do next time. It's more about being in the moment and being in the game. What would your message be, I guess, to any young referees out there who aspire to, to be a W League referee themselves maybe one day? Uh, you can do it. Work hard, ask for help and keep the dream alive. Keep working towards it.